I'll tell you, that's exciting to me. I am just loving Blunami. And recently, I downloaded the Android app, and I've been using that, and that's been fun. A little bit different than the iOS app, but uh, I'll find something in here that is really interesting, and I thought I would share just what's going on. Of course, it has a standard layout with your bell, horn, lights, a forward, backward, stop loco, your functions, and of course your throttle, which is your slider ball. You can either push the plus or minus to go one increment, or you can slide it with your finger up. But I found this neat little option that has to do with the outdoor guys. In the general settings, they set up outdoor throttle. And that's for when you're outside, maybe the sun is a little too bright and you can't see your phone that well. Um, let's hit it and see what happens. Well, that's quite different. What's that? This is now your throttle. And it, again, it was meant for the outdoor guys, but what I like about it here indoors is it's now taking my head out of my phone and back on my trains because I can intuitively, with my thumb or my finger, know what speed to do. One tap is one speed increment. A swipe in my programming is five speed increments. And that's really cool. You can program it actually to any amount of speed increments you want. Let me show you. Back in the same general settings where we were, outdoor, right below it, swipe speed step. I set mine to five. Why did I pick five? Because at every five speed steps, I have a throttle notch increase. So if I want to go from notch one to notch two to notch three, each one of those is a single swipe and it increases your speed of the engine by five speed steps. You can set that number to pretty much anything you want, but it, uh, if it matches what you have set in the sound, like what I have, that's what I like, and go in the main sounds, my RPM increases every five speed steps. You can change this to whatever you like too. You can go all the way up to eight, nine, ten, whatever you want, and if you want to match it on your swipe, you can. Again, I, I like five. I like to go a little slower. And uh, I think this just works out great. And again, you get your, your uh, hand on your phone and your head on your trains. What's really nice about this, too, is they put a tactile feel in there. You can actually feel a little vibration when you do a single tap to start. And to, and to stop and even when you slide it there's a different tactile feel so it's kind of nice there's a little vibration there uh, it tells you what's going on and uh, so one tap gives you one speed step at a time one two three one two three four goes down and then a swipe, again in my case, gives you five scale miles an hour or five speed steps and five speed steps will stop. What's also cool is let's say you've, you're going multiple uh, speed steps, uh, 25 speed steps. You don't have to swipe down five times to stop real quick. Of course you have your loco stop button here, but you could just push and hold the, the downside and your engine will come to a stop too. Let me show you what that looks like. So we've got the train going 30 speed steps right now. Here it comes out of the tunnel. And if I want to stop this, I can just push and hold that. And I'll bring it right to zero. And I have momentum and braking set, so that's why it doesn't come to an immediate stop. It comes to a nice gradual stop. So that's another thing you can do. So it's one tap up, one tap down, swipe up, swipe down, or a push and hold for an immediate stop. I really like the feature of the outdoor throttle and I'm going to be using this with all my Blue Nami engines.